All right, first card, ladies, here we go. I love these sunflowers. So we used the detail, we did do the stamping, and I love these, I, I think they're sunflowers, right? Or daisies maybe, I don't know. I think they just work so perfectly with our Celebrate Sunflower stamp set. So this is part of the Ornate Garden Designer Series Paper Pack, and it works beautifully with our Celebrate Sunflowers bundle. So let me go ahead and show you how we are making this card today. Everything's always flipping all over the place. Okay. So hang tight, ladies. Let's see. It almost looks like it's getting cloudy. I think we might get some rain here later today. Thank you, guys. All right. What do I have? I've got lots of... Oh, yeah, I did a few already because I didn't want you guys to have to sit and watch me stamp and die cut too many times. Okay. We are starting with, this is a piece of Bumblebee, our brand new in color, similar, very similar to Crushed Curry. Um, I would have to have them side by side to tell you what the difference is, and I don't think I've done that yet, now that I say that. Anyway, so our eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock, along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half, right? And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter. I'm glad you guys like this card, thank you. Then we have a piece, and again, measurements will all be on my blog this afternoon at gatheringinspiration.com, four by five and a quarter, and then the Ornate Garden DSP is three and three quarters by five inches. And then the only other piece you need to know is this Whisper White Strip for our sentiment that is three quarters by three and a half. And then I've got some scraps of uh, Bumblebee, Old Olive, and um, Early Espresso for our um, sunflower. Okay, so let's do our stamping. Let's start with this one, see if I can, we're gonna use, so I don't have Bumblebee yet, it's on order, so that's why I'm kind of interchanging with my crushed curry, which I think works just fine. In the meantime, it just keeps freezing. I don't know. Maybe with, there's, I think, okay. You guys will get the idea here though, right? Okay, and then we're gonna stamp. I already did two leaves. I need three for this card, not in that one though. We're gonna use old olive ink. Okay, nice easy tap, tap, tap. Put that one there. Lots of detail on here too, which I love. Okay, this is why I kept this one out though, because we're gonna stamp our sentiment, the thanks a bunch on no, you know what? Actually, let's do this first. So have you guys seen, this is the new, I don't even know what this punch is called, but it's um, a little label punch that you can use either half inch, three quarters, or one inch wide strips. Yeah, the colors are beautiful, aren't they, Susie? Okay, and then you can kind of see the detail. So this one's a little bit more, um, I don't know, ornate, and this one's a little more simple. We're gonna use a little bit more simple one. So there are three different grooves here. Again, half inch, three quarter, and one inch. This is three quarters of an inch wide. So we're just gonna slide this in until it hits the end. And I'm gonna punch one end. All right, oops, can you see? There we go. And then we're gonna punch the other end. And then I'll stamp on it, because I was afraid um, maybe I wouldn't do something right. So cute little punch, right? All right, so here we go. We've got our thanks a bunch. Stamp, sticks a little bit, there we go. I love that, thanks a bunch, right? Okay, so now let's do our die cutting. Keep those leaves over there. And that little sentiment too. Okay, let me grab my big shot. Actually, let's put that guy up there. Okay, you guys can see what's going on. You know what we're going to do? We're going to trim this off. We do not need that whole piece. Save that for another day. This one, and actually we're going to have to do... Oh, I know why we need that. That makes sense. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? Okay, let's do these two first. So we have our sunflower dies. So we are going to... We need this detail leaf just on the green. We're gonna do the outline right there. And then we're gonna use this guy. And we just want this, ooh, wait a minute. I don't have my, oh no, we're good. Yep, we're gonna, I was looking at the wrong card. We want this little part to go on the early espresso. And then we're gonna, I'll show you what, what we'll do 
to make that look good. Okay, so we'll die cut our sunflower in a sec. All right, so we got those. All right, I'm sorry, it's gonna wiggle and I'm gonna go back and forth just a little bit to get as many, whoa. <laughs> and when you let go of the handle, it just wings back at you if you're not careful there. All right, so let's see what we've got. This one is easy. This one's got some detail. Do you see the, all the fun little detail there? But it usually kind of lifts right up. Yep, isn't that handy? So that one just pops right out. Put that there, and then our leaf, okay? So we need those two. Now this one, lots of, there's lots of mess on here. So I actually brought my little, um, this is my little tin. I keep these all over the place just to, um, hold the trash basically. So we are gonna trim this off. We'll do this in a sec though. You can see lots of junk on there too, right? Okay, so let me take this over here. Kind of get as much of that off as I can, okay? Now, yeah, so this is why I had a full, <laughs> like can't remember what I'm doing here. So we've got this one, actually let's put this one down and I'll show you the trick that I learned to, cause you can see like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna get this thing lined up, right? There's this one that kind of wings over to the right and there's a little bit more of a space. So when you find that on your stamp, then you can find the one right here. It also kind of wings. Can you guys see that it wings over a little bit? I don't know how else to say that. There's just a little more space. So I know that that goes right on here and you guys can't see that. So let's scoot that over a little bit, right? So that helped me, you just get that one little spot and then everything else will kind of fall right in place. And then the detail, okay. So this um, die set definitely um, makes a mess and that's okay. Uh, we're gonna go back and forth on this detailed piece one more time. There we go. Okay, hello, Miss Vina. How are you doing on this beautiful Friday? Okay, so there's our sunflower. Isn't that awesome? Lots of beautiful detail there. And then this is the one. So there's lots of lots going on there, right? But when we pull this off, you will see a lot of it kind of pops right out. So that's why you want to go back and forth a few times. So can you see it really isn't too, you just need to have your trash can handy. And these little things don't even really matter. There are a bunch of little holes that you might wanna pop out, but we actually covered it with our early espresso one, so it doesn't even matter. So don't worry about those, you just want those little hanging bits to come off. Okay, so again, I'm gonna get rid of all of that. Okay, so I think we are good with this one. Now we can put things together. Actually, let's do this real quick while I'm thinking about it. So I'm just gonna grab my paper snips and all we wanna do is just kind of start trimming around. And I did not really even worry too much um, about, cause it's supposed to, you know, um, look real. And if it were super perfect, it wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't look real, right? So we're just kind of snipping all of these things off. Oops, that one's kind of in the way there, right? So do that, get that one down in there a little bit more, right? The only other thing I wanna do, I did have, yep, okay. So there are a few of these little holes that I kinda wanna pop out. I tried with my Big Shot die brush and for me, they didn't get loosened quite as well as I wanted them to. So it was easier to just poke them out with your paper piercing tool. But I think that looks good. So you guys can see, right? Very cool. Okay, so now we can, yeah, you gotta, <laughs> I'm like, oh, look at all the little pieces. You guys can't even see them now, right? Okay, so now we can put our card together. Let's see, we need some adhesive and we are gonna need our little silicone mat. So let's just start by putting, so this is our early espresso piece. I ordered the new, is it called Stamp and Seal? So, if I'm brave enough and I know what I'm doing, I will be using that next Friday on Facebook Live. We'll have to see <laughs> if I, 
I don't know. I'm sure it's going to be easy, right? If I master it between now and then without my, my futsy snail here, right? Ooh, look at, isn't that so pretty? Yeah, the browns and the yellows, which it's funny because brown and yellow are not typically like very pretty colors, um, but they work so well on this, right? Okay, so now to build our sunflower. So this, we can just put adhesive, and I didn't want any adhesive on the outside edge. I just want it on this piece so that it will um, stick down on here. And again, I'm looking for that little piece that wings over to the right and then that one right there, and I know that I will have everything lined up. So you can see, can you guys see on my end view? You can, oops, I didn't hold that down very well. There, okay. So I wanna press firmly there, and then I kinda curled this up just a little bit, just because I, I like so that you can kinda see the detail there. And then this little baby, we are gonna use our little mini um, dimensionals and I'm gonna put it I don't want to put it where the little dots show through so I'm trying to get pretty close to the edge but I don't want to go too close I don't want to be able to see it through the inside either okay oh you saw the new adhesive used okay awesome sorry I know I missed some comments there um, that one is showing a little bit so you can always move them if you need to so there's that, right? I like how that kind of popped up there. So now we can put this piece on our card. All right, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna just kind of add him maybe right about there. And we're gonna press firmly. Oh yeah, so now the leaf too. So we had this one that we stamped and then that one that we die cut. And all I did, because again, I didn't want them stuck down everywhere. I just put some adhesive down at the bottom, maybe a little bit more. And then we're going to tuck this underneath. So it doesn't even matter if there's kind of adhesive in places that you wouldn't normally want it because we're going to put them back behind our sunflower, okay? So then we will add, flip these guys over. And I love using my silicone mat here because then I don't get adhesive all over my work surface, okay? And I'm gonna kind of bend these up a little bit. So we're gonna tuck one. And I also didn't put adhesive too far around the edge, so I would be able to kind of lift this up and tuck these leaves underneath, okay? So I'm gonna put one there. And I do, I think it looks more lifelike when you can kind of curl them a little bit. And then these things aren't attached other than at the bottom too, so they'll kind of pop up also. So let's flip this one around and kind of lift this up and maybe put that one right there, right? So then we just have our little thanks a bunch. So we are gonna add with dimensionals. And what did I do? I didn't want it too far over on the flower, so I think I did like there and there, okay? Peel those babies off and pop that on right about there. And there we go. Isn't that awesome? Oh my gosh, I love, I think it's, so the paper behind it and then the colors all coordinate so well together. So thanks a bunch. All right, card number one, we did it ladies. Okay, let me scoot a couple things out of the way and we will move on to card 